Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea 2! Let's start Chapter 4 and see what Axel's up to now. Oh, damn it! How could I lose to that girl? Because she was level 1000? Just be glad that you weren't hurt that badly. We should thank that demon lord for allowing you to return at all. Well, we didn't have anything of value to her, evidently. I'm pathetic. I can't even keep a single promise. I'm all talk. Yep. If only I was stronger. If only. But hasn't it been like a really long time since you've lost a fight to anyone? That demon lord must be really strong. Well, not much we could do about it. Don't worry, brother. I'll get him back for you next time. Some people were saying, H.C. Bailey, you could have used a thief to, like, put her to sleep and then poison her to death. And there's a lot of enemies that you could do that to. She is sort of right. It isn't like you to be depressed. Just get stronger and beat her next time. But yeah, I don't want to abuse tactics like that. But, damn. I will defeat her there eventually, but not today. Adele, just be happy that you're back home with your family. I know you're mad because you lost. I also know that you're fighting so hard for us, your family. Yeah, we got a hospital and everything right up front. But for us, what matters most is that you come home alive. That is what we hope for the most. Other than becoming human? Please, make me a promise. That no matter what, you will come home alive. Well, I do have a healer. She's good for nothing, but I'll take what I can get. What's with the change all of a sudden? You're usually screaming at me to hurry up and defeat Xenon, but now... Adele? Well, you might not be up to the task. Okay, I promise. I will come home alive. What was with that fade out and fade in there? What's wrong, princess? You haven't said a word. Does it hurt somewhere? No, that is not what disturbs me. What's going on? Princess, that's amazing! You healed faster than everyone else! Well, she does have a pretty good res stat. But anyway, let's start, well, episode four, chapter four, whatever. Whoa! <laughs> Father? Father? Is that you? What is with this image anyway? What is wrong, Father? What happened? Well, I know. Father, please answer me! It was all a dream? Evidently. No, a nightmare. Or a glimpse of things to come. Oh, uh, well, yeah, it could be, could get pretty bloody. But, well, let's take a look around, see what's changed around here since Chapter 3. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Yeah, sure, thank you for not killing us into oblivion. Oh, what do you mean by that? Oh, well... Yeah, Axel did kind of kick my ass, almost. I don't think so. Then again, you are... Well, I don't know how old you are, but... Younger than Adele! But anyway, let's get some treasure around here while we're at it. Am I all at full? Yeah, once you complete the chapter, you're gonna be at full. So, alright! Ah! Well, yeah, he's been kind of... Doing stuff, not really making a difference, but he's there. Yeah, pretty much. Although ghosts being able to regenerate SP can be kind of nice, but I usually don't have a problem with SP. Not long term, anyway. Maybe every now and then, but... Oh, well, good for you. I would think any even humans would like the sun. Whoa! Holy cow! Yeah, tell me about it. Whoa! Can I get up there? Ha ha! Oh, what do you mean by that? 
Uh, I think I was mentioning it before, but if you have multiple pieces of equipment that are the same rarity number, like you see 212, 92, or whatever, but if they're the same rarity number, they boost each other's stats a little bit. It, they, you get a multiplier for what their stats are. So you get that for two of them, or three of them, or four of them even. And the collector specialist that I got there could really help with that. If you're, like, working with legendary stuff like that. Yeah, I keep forgetting to do that with Rosalind. Huh? Well, okay. We'll see what we can do. But yeah, as far as rarity number matching, don't worry about it for the main storyline. Even in the post-game, it's not extraordinarily important until, like, the very, very end of it. And that's when you really want to pay attention to all that stuff. Oh, I've been spending plenty of time in the item world, but I don't need to do that again for quite some time. Not for a few more chapters, at least. Haha! -ha. Oh, I can never have enough money. Oh. Hmm. I never heard that expression before, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, but pay no attention to that. Oh, what kind of bar? Oh. Nuts, I guess? I have no idea what the printy is talking about there, seriously. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, I don't know, but... Well, we're getting plenty of money at least, but... Nothing that I can actually use here, but... Okay, well, anyway, let's uh, sell those two. And I think I've talked to everyone around here. Yep, well, let's figure out where to go to find Zena next. Well, where to next? Why do you not censure me? What do you mean? Censure? Do not pretend like you forgot. I deceived you about my relationship with my father. Well, you've been doing that the whole game so far, almost. Are you not angered by my deception? Do you not doubt the validity of my pedigree? Or perhaps you pity me as a pathetic and foolish girl? But do not mock me! Whatever works for you! My father has provided me with a pampered life, with my own mansion and servants, and Tink for as long as I can remember. Even though I have not yet met him, my father cares an awful lot about me. What more proof do you need? Why do I need proof at all? I am... I am Rosalind, Overlord Xenon's only daughter. Well, you might not be. I mean, if you've never met the guy. Monsieur Adele, the princess speaks the truth. I wonder who's your mom, anyway. After all, I am a demon in this service of Overlord Xenon. I guarantee that the princess really is his daughter. Please, believe her. I'm not mad at you for anything, and I still believe that you're Zenon's daughter. Yeah, you got the emblem and everything. Stop lying! I'm not lying. Fact is, I don't know my parents either. What do you mean? What? I don't pity you, but I do know how you feel. You don't know your parents? You're lying! You have a family! Yeah, they were right there in the middle of town. Oh no! Taro and Hanako have been kidnapped! What the? What? Taro and Hanako? Some stupid looking boy in a white cape took Taro and Hanako! Nuts. So, where were you guys watching them? But what does he want with our kids? He won't get much money by selling them, so what's the point? Maybe just to piss us off? Stupid looking and wearing a white cape, huh? Well, that could describe any number of people. It's gotta be him. No one else is that stupid. Well, yeah, you, you got me on that one. He said come to Dallos River if you want them back. Who is he? Well, at least we know where to go to find them. Just an idiot. I can't believe that jerk. Is this his way of getting revenge? Evidently. Sure, we beat the crap out of him. But to endanger Taro and Hanako... I'll never forgive him. Well, yeah, we kind of killed him on more than one occasion. 
But before going there, let's go back to the murderer's vault because, well, we get a different battle now that we're done with Etna in Tragedy Land here. And this one is actually remotely winnable. So let's see what we got. Okay. Just want to check out the weaknesses there. Hmm, a lot of guys weak to fire. Not so much weak to ice, huh? Okay, well, let's see what we can do. Let's see, Adele and Krona are way ahead on levels, so I'm not going to worry about them right now. I mean, I'll still bring them out, just, you know, for the purpose of tanking, really, but that's about it. And these guys will kind of sit back for a while before actually attacking us. Now, remember, just like 3-2, uh, these guys, you don't want to line up in a row against them, like I'm doing right now. But the only reason I'm doing that here is because they, they're not going to be able to reach me anyway from all the way back there. Fortunately, we don't have treasure chests to worry about this time either. Now, even though I do want Krona to build up his mana, I want to try and get my other characters up to speed on levels there. If Tiana actually creates a chest there, so much the better. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's have Roslyn. Yeah, let's have her take out that guy. Yeah, that should be easy. Well, in a way, it's good that Roslyn and Tiana need more experience because they have the hit stat to, well, actually hit these guys. So yeah, just kind of spread out a bit here. Not as good as I would like, but it'll get the job done. Okay, let's see. Where's the guy's weak to win? Okay. Unfortunately, I have uh, height tolerance to try and hit that guy, but evidently not good enough. But that's okay. I'll probably give two kills each to Rosalind, Lloyd, and Tiana there. Uh-oh. Oh, whoops. Sorry, sorry. You think you'll be okay? Probably not. Okay, let's see. Let's get Gaia Blast going. Or, can I get Rose Thorns working? Hmm. What's the height tolerance on that? Not very good. Okay, never mind. We'll just do this the old-fashioned way then. Well, let's see. Tiana's pretty far away to get any more kills anyway. I thought one more... Yeah, there it is. Oh, actually, I haven't had you kill anyone yet, have I? Well, I'll just keep on sitting here until I actually can kill these guys. Hmm. How are you doing there? Yeah, we can have Rosalind take care of that. But let's spread out a little more there. That ought to be good. If it became necessary, I could go all the way around to the left here to get up to the butterflies up top or Mothman. Oh. Or we could just do it that way. Why not? Maybe I should have just left Adele and Krona behind there or whatever, but oh well. Nuts. But what traps does Axel have waiting for us at Dallas River there? Find out next time on Let's Play Disgaea 2. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.